What's up guys, it's Nick, and today I will be showing you guys how to take photos of the sun using an adapter that you can make from home for only $20. Now there's a solar eclipse coming soon on June 20th, and I want you guys to be able to take any photo you want without becoming tough from Avatar The Last Airbender. Now the first thing you guys will need to do this is of course a camera, a DSLR or an iPhone, it doesn't really matter. Although I recommend a DSLR with at least a 300 millimeter lens on it. Now we will be using an 80D and a Sigma 100 to 400 to take our photos because I don't have that Canon 5D Mark IV money. Canon, hook me up. Now if you are using a DSLR, the next step for you to do is to figure out what the girth of your lens is or the circumference if you're not a freak like me. Once you figure that out, you're gonna head over to Amazon and get a thousand oak solar filter and whatever basic UV filter that you can get. Amazon has a quite a few good lines for it, literally called Amazon Basic. I will put both links to what I recommend down below in the description. Now for the filter sheet, I recommend at least a six inch because that gives you room for error. Let's say you mess up the first time when you're cutting your circle, you have plenty more space to do one, maybe two more. But if you think you're an alpha chat and you can do better and do it in one take, then get the four inch and save some money. Now it's time to measure your girth. Now grab your lens gently and measure the diameter of the lens. Now cut that number in half. Mine was 2.9 for the diameter, so roughly that's about 1.5. This will then allow you to easily cut your circle. Now you wanna grab one of these handy dandy cool scientific ancient things. I don't actually remember what they're called. Uh, yeah, hey, that's a compass. This isn't a compass. This is a compass. Anyways, once you have this, it's easy. You just trace, do a circle, bam, boom, you're done. Now lay this paper inside your lens and if it fits, you're set. Now you might have to do a little bit of trimming like here, there, and there. Once the paper is the right length, then lay that on top of your filter sheet and just use it as kind of a guideline to cut out the filter. And the final step is once your filter is the right size, you can just lay it right on top of your lens and then screw your UV filter on top, securing it in safely. And ta-da, there you go. You're safe and ready to take photos of the sun. Now, I also recommend you guys use your LCD monitors even better if they flip out. That way you're not looking anywhere near the sun. I do not want you guys looking up at the sun and burning your eyes during the solar eclipse. Just don't look at the sun. <laughs> Now don't worry iPhone people, I haven't forgotten about you. It's really easy, really easy to take a photo of the sun on your iPhone. You just take your leftover filter paper, bam, you're done. So much easier, except you can't get nearly as close. Now if you guys haven't already, please think about smashing that like button, just beat it up, just punch it. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, think about hitting the subscribe button. And if you guys do take photos of the solar eclipse on June 20th, I would love to see them. Link them down to me down in the comments, down below. Just put the link there. I want to see your photos. Anyways, guys, my name's Nick. This is Behind the Scenes with Nick J, and I will see you guys in the next one. BTS with Nick J.